it's not as complicated as people think. If you are already using Databricks and Power BI, you are off way there. And also setting things up is pretty straightforward. Since Power BI natively integrates with Databricks, customers can connect to Lakehouse with just a few clicks. Here's what teams should focus on. Enabling Power BI's automatic aggregation. Optimize your Databricks data model. For example, having proper partitioning, using caching and metallization, reducing data skew. Importantly, using a direct query with Databricks SQL and leveraging Unity Catalog for data governance and security. So for people still struggling with slower dashboards, right? What is the next step? How do they implement the setup? Good question. Moving to Databricks doesn't mean ripping everything out. Most teams begin with a hybrid approach, leveraging Databricks for heavy duty processing while maintaining their existing BA workloads. As they see performance gain, they shift more workloads to Databricks. Got it. So instead of a painful migration, it's more of like an optimized process, right? Exactly. Databricks isn't just another data warehouse, it's a performance multiplier for BA. That's a great insight, Raj. And honestly, after getting to know about those test results, I can't imagine going back to the traditional BA workflows. Once you see the difference, there is no going back. The future of BA is all about speed, scale, and intelligence. And Databricks is definitely leading the way. That sounds like a game changer, Raj. Right?